On to other news tonight from the economy. Changes are on tap for to change the investment regime. This is Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis continues to tout the Commercial Enterprise Bill to increase investment in the Bahamas. Now in his first visit to the U.S. Capitol since being elected as Prime Minister, the nation's leader addressed attendees at a reception yesterday for Bahamians and friends of the Bahamas residing in D.C., North Virginia, Maryland and Baltimore. He he urged them to utilize the recently passed bill to invest in the country. Now, the Prime Minister also shared with those in attendance that his administration is looking to cut the red tape and long waiting times for international investment projects to be vetted and also approved. Accompanying the Prime Minister on this trip was his wife and also the Foreign Affairs Minister, the Honorable Darren Henfield. Now, we spoke with Minister Henfield by phone earlier today. He said it is hoped that this newly passed bill will spur economic growth. Investors are interested, uh, we think. Uh, we saw quite quite a bit of interest in Washington. Uh, investors are interested because we're looking at fields that are not readily uh, operable in the Bahamas. We're looking at, at highly technical fields uh, where people will come in and stand up enterprises uh, and businesses that are not really dominated locally by the humans at the moment. Um, I met a technical engineer who was a consultant that's our own firm, and, and maybe someone like I would be interested in coming home and consulting in that, in that area. Uh, and so the, the bill is, is meant to be an incentivizer in, in this regard, uh, to incentivize the humans to come home and, and, and look at establishing uh, similar enterprises and growing them from the ground, engaging uh, other Bahamians, uh, bringing returning home, repatriating to the Bahamas a knowledge base that is not readily existent in our, in our regular work environments. Meanwhile, this is the second trip government officials have made to the United States, all in an attempt to attract Bahamians back home. The Foreign Affairs Minister said the response has been a positive one. Bahamians uh, work abroad because they can, they can draw uh, higher wages. They, they, there are more amenities available to them. What we are seeking to do is to somehow level the playing fields for Bahamians. If, for instance, there's a business concern that needs quantity, quantity surveyors, we'll ask them to look at Bahamians first, uh, give them an opportunity to come home and receive the commensurate pay that they would receive anywhere else in the world in order to build uh, these technically uh, specialized fields in the country. And so the incentive is, is that you're going to be paid uh, commensurate with what you make abroad, um, and commensurate with what is paid uh, really internationally.